Hello! Happy Taco Tuesday. It is also obviously election day. But even on election day, before casting your vote, after casting your vote, even during casting your vote, while, whilst, whilst casting your vote, you need to eat, you need to stuff your face, you can't vote on an empty stomach because then you're all going to be hangry, you're going to be angry, you're going to be concentrating on food and tacos when you should be concentrating on your vote. So, girls got to eat. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Ken Heedy. Everybody, I am sitting in my Honda in front of Mauricio's Mexican food. It's a little hole in the wall joint, uh, not too far from North Park off of Adams Avenue. And I got the El Pastor taco. It's in here, here it is. It's really heavy for one taco. So what about my shirt? Oh, my shirt. It's just, I came from the gym. I had to work out before eating a taco. Also, people are staring at me oddly. All right, here we go. A lot of you are joined. I should not probably put that on my face. Tabitha was supposed to join me for Taco Tuesday, but she had to work. Tabitha. Hopefully I'll see you very soon. So for those of you just tuning in, it is election day, but y'all got to eat on election day and it is Taco Tuesday, so I'm eating a taco in my Honda. That's what's happening right now. So I'm at Mauricio's Mexican Food. I was gonna go somewhere else in North Park, but I drove past this place and I'm an equal opportunity taco lover. I love tacos from anywhere. Tacos off the street, tacos from a fancy restaurant, tacos from anywhere. So I popped into Mauricio's and I bought one taco for $3.50, okay? Here it is, it's very heavy. I feel like there's more than one taco in here, but it's only one. It's the El Pastor, so here we go. Ooh, this is the first place in San Diego where I have ordered a taco to go, and they've actually given me a lime. So Mauricio's, you're winning right now. You are winning because you gave me that lime. This is one taco. Yes, I do know Tabitha. Tabitha and I go way back. Not really, but kind of. Here it is. It's beautiful, full of guac and cilantro and pastor. The lighting is getting real janky up in here. Okay. Here we go. This is a hearty taco, I'm telling you. Is that pricey? Edwin is saying that's pricey for one taco. $3.50. Look at this monstrosity. This is a monstrosity of a taco. Oh no. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, sauce or something went flying across the car, so I'm gonna have to get a car wash. This is really good. Oh my gosh. So far, I think this is my favorite taco that I've had in San Diego. One of them. Someone was asking about the salsa. Here's the salsa. It appears to be a dark, oh gosh. Ooh, it's a spicy salsa. Woo, okay. Okay. All right, so that's a spicy salsa. It's some sort of a dark salsa. Is it a big price hike, $3.50? Do y'all see this taco? Okay, if you're just tuning in, Taco Tuesday on election day, El Pastor Taco from Mauricio's Mexican Food on Adams Avenue, kind of the North Park neighborhood. This is a huge taco, $3.50, so much meat. Look at all this meat. So much meat, a lot of guacamole. They came with a lime. They gave me salsa. So, so far, this is my absolute favorite. I would say this is four out of five tacos. I'll give it four out of five tacos. It's so big and messy that I can barely... I can barely eat it. All right, what are you guys seeing? 
John Bright says that's easily $3.50 worth of a good taco. For sure. You pay $5 for a freaking coffee. This is a giant taco, and that's going to fill me up, which that's saying a lot because normally one taco does not fill me up. What are you guys saying? Too pricey indeed. You people are saying it's too pricey. What happened to my lighting here? I want to know where you think the best taco in San Diego is or Chicago because I am in Chicago here and there. Usually not on a Tuesday, but Taco Tuesday, Mauricio's Mexican food. I do give it four out of five tacos. Fidel Morales says money well spent. You know what? You guys are hilarious. So Jonathan Tabor says, what kind of ride are you driving? Literally in the text of this live video, I wrote that I'm in my Honda. So that's what I'm driving, a Honda. Can someone contact Honda for me and see if they'll sponsor this segment? Because I'm parked, you know, so I'm not doing anything illegal. You guys can't see it, but where I am on Adams Avenue, so many people are riding Lime and Bird scooters. They're just whizzing on by. They're all over the place here. Maybe the next video I can be riding on a Lime scooter while eating a taco. I would probably nosedive into the taco, but what can you do? So what is the, what's a decent price for one single taco? Ranjo Casanova, is your last name really Casanova? Says price is okay, but worth every penny. Dave Bennett says really about the Honda. Yeah, I drive a Honda because that's what I bought when I came out here because the resale value is real good. And I'm in a Honda while I'm eating my taco. Joe Prozanski says El Malago's Chicago. <laughs> John Bright says sounds like a lot of people are price comparing the bell, Taco Bell. So someone is asking, Eric O'Day is asking what kind of meat. It's El Pastor, so it's Pastor. I've been kind of varying up my tacos depending on the place. So my first Taco Tuesday, I was at Lolita's and I did have a fish taco, which was delicious. My second Taco Tuesday, I was in Old Town, which is an awesome area. And I forget what kind of taco I had there, but that was really good as well. And this one is Al Pastor. So it's really delicious. A lot of people are saying El Milagro in Chicago. Antonio Velez loves Taco Burrito House in Chicago on Elston and Kimball. I've never been there. Donnie Cooper says Taco Burrito King. TBK, what up TBK? I grew up not far from a TBK in Chicago. Man, it's getting hot in here. But TBK to me is like, that's fast food taco, right? That's a, that's, that's, it's like one up. Here's Taco Bell and here's TBK, right? Wouldn't you say? That's a late night spot that you go after the bars. Just saying. Let's be honest here. Richard wants me to buy a Jaguar. You can buy me a Jaguar if you want. Philip Jass says three bucks or more, then you better just get the burrito. All right. So what should I be paying? Trip Harden says, do you save the food that drops between your seats for a snack later? So far, I've been really clean. And for those of you that watched last time, I did buy an air freshener for my car, so it's not smelling all like tacos up in here. Although the smell of tacos are delicious. So no, I'm not dropping any food because they always give me a little plate, so I'm good to go. Mauricio's El Pastor Taco, so good. Very meaty, very juicy, spicy salsa. $3.50, but it's a big taco. It's a big taco. Jen Klopstein. Hello, Jen. Point Loma Seafoods has the best fish tacos in the city. Check them out. Jen, thank you. I'm totally going to go there. Point Loma Seafoods, best fish tacos. So if you want to counter Jen, let me know. I will go there. I will check it out. 
Brian Kelly says Jag is an overpriced for Taurus. I really wanted to buy a Mini Cooper convertible. Wait, should I open the moonroof? But um, <laughs> I talked myself out of it. Talked myself out of it because it's made by BMW and replacing the parts would be really expensive and maintenance. So I went with the Honda because it's easy and I tend to be a klutz. So <laughs> I don't want to pour all of my money in my car. Peter Leck likes mostly steak tacos, except he spelled it with a S-T-A-K-E. Antonio Velez, so if I'm right, this is your third Taco Tuesday at three different spots in San Diego. What's your comparison so far? So Antonio, good question. And I did cover that just a minute ago, but I'll let you know. My first spot was Lolita's Fish Taco. I think I gave it three and a half out of five. My second spot was Fred's Cafe in Old Town. It was really good. That one was a little bit higher. Mauricio's Mexican food, which is kind of like in a strip mall here, kind of a, uh, not a hole in the wall, kind of a hole in the wall, um, nothing fancy. It's more of a grab and go type place. This one so far has been the meatiest. I don't know if the, the spice and the flavor are as key as the one in Old Town, but it is really hearty and it is really good. So I do like it. So we'll see where I go next week. Fist bump, Joe Hodge. Jesus Alberto is asking if I've gone to Old Town. Yes, I was in Old Town for last Taco Tuesday. I went with my friend Cora and then I sat in my Honda and ate a taco by myself like a weirdo. All right. Tim Lamping, two words, Jenny, in two different Southwest Side Chicago locations, El Famous Burrito and El Farol, right across the street from each other on Archer Avenue. Chicago has a ton of taco joints. How does Chicago compare to San Diego? I don't know. I never did a Taco Tuesday in Chicago, so we'll see. Randy G says, try Sayulitas in Mira Mesa. All right, yes, please, if you are in San Diego, or the surrounding areas, please leave me your suggestions for my next Taco Tuesday, because I'm definitely, now that I've got a car, I'm gonna drive and I'm gonna find the best taco spot, for sure. John Bright says Honda's run forever, that's 100%. Michael Dennis, 710 Beach Club in Pacific Beach has good fish tacos and it's a Chicago bar. So, Michael, I was supposed to go to 710 Beach Club with some Chicago people a couple weeks ago, and I failed because I woke up really tired from the night before so I didn't end up going but I will go there Pacific Beach I've hung out at a ton so it's really cool it's really fun <laughs> Joshua Henry says I need to create a Polish taco okay guys my leg is falling asleep oh Robert Hanoda I highly recommend El Patron Mira Mesa just visited SD from Chi Town two weeks ago. There are so many Midwest and Chicago people in San Diego. It is amazing. Everyone I meet is not from San Diego. They're all from the Midwest. And I think it's because us Midwesterners are flocking to the best weather city. We're going from snow and rain and only two months of summer. And where do we go? To the city with, objectively speaking, the best weather because it's 70 co 77 coastal, 80 degrees inland all year round, so. Antonio, yeah, my phone is secured with a little thing in my air vent, so thank you. Pablo, I-L-L. -L. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this. Should I finish this on camera? I dropped my napkin, hold on. Edgar's Tacos. I'm so short that I can't reach above the steering wheel. Thumbs up, Mauricio's. What else do you guys want to talk about? Did you vote? So, Jesus is asking for recommendations for the best pizza in Chicago. I don't know, man. I don't really eat pizza. I don't really like ordering pizza. I like making my own healthy pizza at home but I haven't done that in a while. So I'm not a big <coughs> pizza connoisseur. 
and I do love me some stuffed pizza, some thick crust pizza. Also, I really like Little Caesars in Chicago. So y'all are gonna make fun of me for that and tell me how ridiculous I am, but I'm a huge fan of Little Caesars. Because it's doughy and it's delicious. Richard Vyshbovsky, still curious to hear your thoughts on In N Out if you've tried them. I have not tried In N Out. When I do try In N Out, I will do a live video for you guys. I have to try In N Out and I have to try Felipe's Pizza, which was actually voted the best pizza in San Diego. So we'll see just how good it is because I have heard that some of the pizza here is a little bit like cardboard. So <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Darren Good says pierogi and pineapple taco by Jenny Milk. Yes, the crazy bread. I'm telling you, Little Caesars is good. Best Philly cheesesteak in Chicago? I don't know. I don't eat cheesesteaks. Y'all are crazy. All right. I ate it all. Every little last bite. I'm sweating. I have the meat sweats. I have the meat sweats. Is anyone staring at me? All right. I'm going to go now and get rid of these meat sweats. Mauricio's Mexican food on Adams Avenue and 32nd Street. Four out of five tacos. Really good. Very filling. That's what she said. On that note, goodbye forever. Until next time, till tomorrow morning. And I'll see you guys soon.